Okay, so this assignment is going to be uh, the multiple exposure practice, which is down here. Um, you're going to be using these two photos in the assignment. So what you're going to do is right click or control click or command click, depending on what kind of operating system you're using, and save image as and save it somewhere. So whatever folder you're going to end up saving it into, you're going to save it in like downloads, wherever it, is, wherever it is you're going to go, you're going to figure that out on your own. Um, and then of course I have to figure out where my um, images are. So you're down, you download these two photos to be part of the assignment. Then you're going to go to Pixlr, Pixlr E, and you can see, a, see where we're going. Um, create new. Once again, full HD is the, the one you're going to choose and give it a name multiple six i don't know what number i'm on but we'll say six create so now i've got my background my my workspace to work in and i'm going to upload my my first image and remember it's the plus sign and then mouse over you can mouse over each one it says what kind of layer you want to add i'm going to add the image layer and I've already been to the place where um, my photos are. You would navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you put your fo photos. And, and I'm going to upload one of the pictures. Doesn't matter which, just upload one of the pictures. And you can see it is like the last assignment we did here. The image is bigger than the workspace. So once again, I'm going to make sure it says fixed and I'm going to change the XY position, which is the upper left-hand corner of the picture and the workspace to zero, zero. So the upper left-hand corner of the workspace is zero, zero. So I'm gonna put this, oops, zero, zero. And I'm, this time I'm going to make the height 1080 and which will give me a space of the side, which I don't care about. It's okay to have that space. You can fill it with something, you not fill it with something doesn't matter to me. Um, so then we're going to upload the second picture. And do the same thing. So it's going to load itself. It's too big. Position is going to go to 0, 0, width, I'm sorry, height 1080, because that's the, the height of the, the background. Um, and then you can you can hide or reveal because the camera was set on a tripod both pictures are in you know the exact same place the exact same orientation everything should work out pretty well here so what we're going to do is now that both pictures are on top of each other they are two layers one layer the bottom layer is the, with the guy on the left the Keaton is on the left and the top layer is the Keaton is on the right um, so I'm going to go to the eraser. Well, first I want to make sure that my top layer is selected. I'm going to go to the eraser. And I can change the size of this eraser tool if I want. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it covers a little bit more space. I can do this here. 40, 70 pixels seems fine. And so I click back over here and my eraser is ready to go. And so I can start erasing, which is erasing part of the top layer and so you can see I can keep on going and so the, my goal is to erase out all the parts that were that are changed in this image so now now see how the I, I'm not sure if this is showing through but see how there's a difference in tone between this part of the wall and the other part of the wall from his picture um, that's because he's shadowing the wall a little bit so I want to include that I'm going to include that in my my um, erasing and I'm going to write up to the um, edge of the the um, door frame that's a good place to quit I want to make sure I get the phone I'm going to get him in here so I'm going to erase down here I get down to the bottom and it's going to look a little strange if I don't include the reflection on the floor. So I'm going to include the reflection on the floor all the way down here. And I'm going to go over to the, there's his other foot. 
the kind of like the border between the two tiles as a good place to color to, to erase to. So now I'm a, he's erased there, and I can I can kind of check if I make the top picture invisible, it shows. Oh, there we go. And now I can go in if I made the the bottom layer invisible. I can go in now and and finish covering some of the spots I missed. So I can make this a little bit smoother if I want to. I can fill in this spot down here. I can fill in this here. You can see I kind of filled in right up to the the door frame here. And there you go. So now I can put that back. And you know, one of the fun things you can do is this top layer, I can change the transparency. So he's vanishing, but he vanishes pretty well because the bottom layer is lined up with the top layer. So <clears throat> that's one of the critical in the next assignment, you're going to be taking your own photos for this. But in this assignment, you're going to use the photos that have been provided. Um, and because I shot on a tripod, the pictures line up really well. And you can kind of see that if I move this bottom picture around a little bit, you can see the, the door frame and you can see all this different stuff. Um, you don't really want, you know, you want these things lined up. So if you do, when you do take your own photos, you'll be able to um, line them up uh, by, so the way to do that, the way to line them up is you would then go go to the top layer or and then change the transparency. So you change it to 50% and then be able to see, oh, that, oh okay, I can see, I, I could pick maybe this, uh, the door, the, the panic bar on the door, there's a little dot right there, I can line that up and, and now they're lined up. So you can line these up manually and in Photoshop there's actually a tool to line them up and a lot of graphics programs a lot of um, editing programs have tools where it will it'll take two photos and line them up for you so that's one advantage to um, to having a, like a GIMP or Photoshop to do this but we're using Pixlr and Pixlr gets us most of the way there so we can and this is the final result then the thing to um, turn in is you're going to go to file save and save a pxz format file and then download that and it's going to go to your downloads folder so you know where it is and then then also save a jpeg at 100% quality high 100% quality download that so you have two files that you're going to turn in the jpeg and the pxz file <coughs> And then the assignment is done. So it's a pretty straight, pretty easy, pretty straightforward assignment. Um, and for you on the video, you can watch this over and over again and um, pick up on whatever you need to pick up on. Uh, also, excuse the mess on my desk. Normally you can't see this, but oh well. Um, but there you go. That's the that's the um, the assignment for. Um, the next week. Uh, any questions? And I'm going to stop and cut.